back to the great New York State Fair, day number two here. And again, we are at our new location right outside the Expo Center on the fairgrounds West End. John joining me now. We are outside the pop-up shop. That's right. The, we've been talking about it uh, all the time here the last several days or last week or so, week and a half, that we've got a lot of great things here at the pop-up shop, Ryan, including yeah. our... Look at this. The 2023 calendar, right? That's right. Look at that, 20, good, yep. look at that good looking team right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very, very, very nice pictures in there. Great data and stats in there. Get this for $7. You pick up three, Ryan, Whoa. $7 each, and you can get any t shirt on the wall. Oh. Um, so that includes your favorite, your onesie. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, a couple of T-shirts. We do have onesies. Yeah, yeah. I thought Nicole was joking about that. The, we really do have onesies. No, we, here. we do, and we have you know uh, hats, yeah. um, a mug, new shell line mug, just a lot of great stuff here in the calendar and here at our pop-up shop. So inflation has hit America. It has not hit New Channel Nine. Still That's right. Seven dollars. Right? Seven dollars still. Yes, it's been that way for years. I tell you. Uh, now weather-wise, yeah. our weather changes often, right? It sure does. So the question is after a beautiful day yesterday so far so good right albeit a little bit hot melting <laughs> a little hot here we take a look here at the forecast for today a bit muggier a shower or thunder shower may pop up west of here later this afternoon into this evening but overall we are in good shape here at the fairgrounds low and mid 80s and a little on the muggier side temperature wise Currently in the 70s and low 80s, 81 Syracuse are the warm spot, 78 in Fulton, uh, and we've got 76 in Rome. The dew points, well, the dew points yesterday were in the upper 50s, low 60s, so it didn't feel too bad as far as humidity goes. But today, take a look at those dew points, low and mid 60s. So you can definitely feel the difference out here compared to yesterday, feeling a little stickier. So what are we going to do humidity-wise as we go through the end of the week into the weekend? Uh, dew points, low and mid 60s, like they're at right now for the rest of today. Tomorrow? Mid 60s, kind of sticky and a little steamy, but Saturday we back it down. That's right, back into the low and mid 50s, feels refreshing, nice. Sunday, start to turn it back up, and then Monday to Tuesday, feeling sweaty once again. All right, so let's take a look here at Live Doppler 9. Live Doppler 9, it is quiet, all right, nothing on it right now, but as I mentioned, Late this afternoon, early this evening, there are some signs that we could pop up a shower, a thunder shower across the central western Finger Lakes, but I think most of us stay dry through sunset. As that front to the north and west gets closer to us, especially tomorrow, our odds for a few showers and storms will be going up. Timecast shows the rest of today, again, good to go overall. Something to cheer about, right, everybody? Yeah, yeah right, right, okay. All right, yes. Uh, I like to take the credit for it, and sure, why not? I'll blame Mother Nature when the weather's bad, right? Uh, for tonight, we're talking about a shower or thunder shower this evening, a spotty one or two. So if you're coming down to the fair to the concerts or maybe going to the amphitheater for the Brad Paisley concert, I'd bring a rain jacket just to be safe. Late tonight, better chance for a few scattered showers or a thunder shower as the front nears. Lows in the 60s tonight, so it's a mild, muggy night. Tomorrow, a shower or two around in the morning, but as we go into the midday afternoon hours, better chance for a few scattered showers and storms as the cold front moves into the area. Temperatures tomorrow, upper 70s, low 80s. And again, it's on the muggy side. So if you're coming to the fair tomorrow, I'd bring a rain jacket. It'll be scattered. It'll be plenty of dry time. If we get a shower storm, my advice to you would be duck inside. There's many great things to look at inside here at the fairgrounds. So what are the chances of severe weather tomorrow? It's low, but we cannot rule out a strong to severe thunderstorm or two containing gusty winds up to 60 miles per hour and maybe a little bit of hail as well between about 1 and 7 o'clock in the afternoon and early evening. Best chance for that. Chief Meteorologist Jim Tesco and more on that coming up at 4 o'clock and during the 5 and 6 as well. Your seven-day forecast after the few showers and storms tomorrow, Saturday, all together now. Ah, yeah, it's going to feel a lot better. Mid to upper 70s, some extra clouds to start the day, more sun develops the day progresses, and a nice little breeze. Thumbs up Saturday. What about Sunday? Maybe an isolated shower storm east of Syracuse. Temperatures mid 80s. We're near 90 to start next week with a spotty storm possible Monday. Better chance of shower and storms Tuesday with a cold front that will cool us off for the rest of next week. So all in all, not looking too bad as we go through the rest of today.